Hey guys, it's Kree and today I wanted to do a little bit of a shoe collection update because I did do a shoe collection about, I want to say this was like two years ago. I will leave that video down in the description below, but I wanted to show you guys an update of everything that I have right now because I have made some changes to the collection and there's a couple of new additions, a couple of things I've sold, but uh, I'm also thinking about selling some more shoes. So. We'll see what happens. I'll do another shoe update in like maybe like a year and we'll see where I'm at then. But I'm going to show you guys all of my shoes. Um, behind me, I don't know if you guys can see, let me adjust the lighting. But I have my favorite shoes, my more like decorative, I'd like to say the ones that I use more for like certain occasions. I don't really get too much wear out of that. And then I have my shoes that I use on a daily basis for like, you know, like everyday errands or for work I have down below. And I'm also using my rain boots, <laughs> my rain combat boots right now. So I'm going to show you guys those because really I think the biggest difference is the stuff I use like every day. So I'm going to show you guys that and then we'll run through the shoes that are on my little shoe display my decorative shoes so yeah let's go ahead and get started okay i had to sit down for this because there would be a lot of bending going on and there's quite a few here so let's go ahead and talk about the first ones these are just your basic everyday sandals i like of course i love black shoes and silver details so i had to get some flats with the little buckle hardware and I don't really use these that often. I kind of hate sandals, but they only cost, I think, like six bucks at Forever 21. So I had to buy them. They have like a little bit of like a witchy vibe to them. And I think they would go with a lot of outfits. I have worn these to like the beach and I have worn these a lot to like clean and stuff. So I don't get like chemicals <laughs> on my nice shoes. But here are my new favorite everyday shoes. Well. I used to have Vans a lot when I was younger, so these, the shoe itself is new, but I've, I've worn the style before, but I love the black high tops, and they're good just for, like, everyday things, you know? They go with most styles and things you wear, they're pretty comfy, and I got the, um, I forgot what kind of sole it is, like, you know the lightweight ones? I don't think they say anything on here. But yeah, I got the comfort ones, the comfort cushion ones. So these I recommend to everybody. I just have to recommend it. But yeah, and I am a size 8 in most of these shoes. Um, these are also, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but another everyday shoe. These are for like if I really am too lazy to put on shoes when I'm walking around the house. I had thought at first that these were slippers when I put them in my cart and after I paid for them, I saw that they were like sandals and you could see the, the toes. So I was like, eh, it's whatever because these are more like, you know, around the house shoes. So it, it's cool. They are from Fashion Nova if you didn't see that on the foot part. They were also pretty cheap. I got these for like, I think 10 bucks at the time. This is when they were having their Black Friday sales and I just was like, never had fluffy fluffy sandals or fluffy shoes like that so that was pretty cool and then I have a pair I think I actually have two pairs of these kinds of shoes but I have this pair of suede combat boots which honestly got a lot of compliments when I first got them everybody was asking me what brand they were but I got these from Amazon and they came with like a little buckle detail, but I kept getting annoyed because I had to keep going back to remove and um, add on that buckle whenever I wanted to put these on. And these don't have like a zip, so that was kind of annoying. <laughs> it was too much work, <laughs> so I just took it off and left it off. But these shoes have been loved very much. Uh, I haven't worn these in a minute because it's been raining a lot and I don't want them to get dirtier and more scuffed than they already are, so... Yeah, I haven't been using those, but I do love them a lot. If we're only being like 20 bucks, I think they were like 25 bucks. That was pretty good. Another pair of boots, which I fell in love with because, I don't know, they just remind me 
of like witchy shoes and I love the pointed toe and the fact that it's like a tiny heel. They are really nice. I kind of wish I sized up. These are from Dolls Kill and I think, I think they're size eights, but I think I need to get a size eight and a half for these. I do want to get the, uh, they have a leathery one that they have on Dolls Kill. It's a bit more expensive. I got these ones for like $35 and the other ones I think are like 45 which isn't too big of a difference, but they're so nice. I'm so scared of getting these ones scratched up like the other suede boots that I have, so I just don't wear these that often, but for a simple shoe, I, I totally recommend these. Just try to get like half a size up if you can. Those kilt tends to be a little bit weird with their sizing, I'm noticing with shoes. And these are actually from my first haul, I think. These are actually from Kohl's. Uh, I got these as kind of a gift because I had messed up the boots that I was going to wear to a bet day event. So uh, a boyfriend of mine had bought these for me. <laughs> They're $60 shoes, but yeah, I haven't used these that much since. I don't really care too much for this doll over all the other ones that I have, but they were pretty nice and they were worth the price tag because they're pretty high quality. I've had these for like almost four years now, so definitely good. And these ones, which, sorry, I'm wearing some joggers right now. These are combats from, uh, I actually got these from Walmart. Hopefully you guys can see it better with that light. It's pretty nice to have a light that's flexible like that, but I got these ones from Walmart and I've had them for about five months now. Yeah, like almost six months. And they're the most comfortable combat boots I've ever owned. Gonna be real with you. They only cost me 20 bucks. But for being a cheap pair of combat boots, even though they're a little bit not as black as they could be, I really like them. I recommend if you're on a budget and you don't want to get foot blisters from wearing Doc Martens. Gotta recommend, gotta recommend. Okay, so now we go to the bookshelf. Okay. And here, I have everything kind of like organized in a, hold on, let me zoom out. Oh, yeah, okay in a from small shoe to the more larger shoes and um so we're gonna start from the top okay because on this shelf i have like a bunch of random junk that i haven't found a space for so we're gonna let's just ignore that but anyway so on here starting from the left i have a pair of sandals platform sandals that I also got from Dolls Kill. These are so comfortable for being platforms, but they do have like a little foamy feel to them. They are lightweight, but I wore these to the beach and they were pretty awesome. I had no complaints about the shoes, but these are definitely not ones you wanna wear in the sand because you're gonna start to lose your shoes because they don't have like a whole lot of, to, like, of support to stay on. They do have enough to like hold onto your feet, but if you go into sand, they're going to get stuck in the sand. That's all I have to say. But other than that, really beautiful. Um, I don't normally like sandals, like I said, but those ones are really cool. And I got a pair of kind of like almost winkle pickers. These are from Forever 21. These are to this day one of my favorite pairs of goth shoes. Or, you know, just like that stereotypical goth shoe i haven't worn these at all much besides like maybe like one time because i'm trying to come up with the perfect outfits for these i feel like you have to wear these with certain outfits and i don't have like the ideal outfit for this it doesn't if that makes any sense but i do need to get i saw a fashion nova that they had like a little belt that had these details to it oh I'll just look at that it's so beautiful but these are very beautiful i have um I have, was it? No, I did buy these from Forever 21. 
they were I think they were only 20 bucks that's a steal you guys definitely check out forever 21 and places like that not the online store go in store and check them out um I think did I get these online I would check them out in store to make sure your size is right because these ones I think I do need to size up by half a size especially when it comes to like these these um, pointed boots definitely have the size up but I am going to make it work for these because they're just so dang cute but um yeah I would try them on in store and then buy them online because I think I got these during like an online sale but I love these shoes and these ones were also from my last haul these are combat boots with a heel to them really cute shoes the only thing i changed about them was the laces because i hated the white laces that the shoe came with i had some ideas to do like a like a, like a schoolgirl kind of vibe outfit with these but i kind of got over that really quickly because i don't really wear stuff like that and i think the black laces work even better with it and they go with tons of more outfits um really easy to walk in the chunky heel but I haven't really worn these out either. I tried wearing these out a couple times, but I always end up wearing more like, like comfortable flats, like my pair of Vans and stuff, because over time my feet just get so tired because I'm flat-footed, but yeah. Next down here, we have a couple of others. These are more like sneakers. These are like a, a platform sneaker kind of shoe I don't know how to describe these but I didn't really like these too much uh, when I tried them on I thought they made my foot look too big but these are really cute I just you know they're lightweight and they are easy to walk in I just don't like how they look on me so I don't know if I want to sell these or not uh, but yeah, I'm definitely, like, I do love how they look and everything. That's why I've kept them on the shelf for so long. I just don't know how I feel. Because I got these pretty cheap. I got them for, like, I think 10 bucks at Forever 21. Which is amazing. And they do fit my foot well. But I'm just not, like, 100% for them, if that makes sense. Also got this pair of um, Jeffrey Campbell wannabes. Jeffrey Campbell fakes. Um, these, uh, I loved wearing them at the time that I bought them, but after finding out, you know, that they were fakes and everything, I didn't want people to ask me questions and stuff or feel the pressure to throw them away because they're fake. I just love these spikes on the heel and it's just really cool. I don't know. I love it. I do have a fun story about these two. Well, kind of a scary story, but it was pretty funny how I reacted. I was prepared to use these as a weapon once. Defensive weapon, of course, but we'll talk about that another time. Uh, another pair of wedged platforms that are also from Forever 21, actually. Thank you, Forever 21. Amazing finds. But this has slightly more of like a heel to it. I love these ones more. It's solid black but with more of like a wet look PVC to it. Really lightweight, really comfortable shoes. I just really haven't worn them out much. That's why you don't really see any scratches, but I do plan on using these ones because, oh my God. Like if I went to Bad's Day or something, I don't know, did they stop doing Bad's Day? I thought they were gonna stop doing it last year, but I could be wrong. But I did go to Bad's Day a couple times at Disneyland. And right here, as you can see, we have some Demonias and a pair of Why Are You um, Ballerina shoes. So these are my all-time favorite designs from Demonia. Really comfortable. These are healed. Um, I just, I don't know, I love the details to this. I haven't found a Demonia shoe since I bought these that I loved enough more than these if that makes sense really girly but punk and like 
God. It just has so many elements to this that I love. I love a bit of like an androgynistic kind of feel to shoes. And this adds a little touch of girly as well as the heel. So I had to have these, I had to have these for my style. Um, these are my size. I didn't have to size up for those. These Demonias, I think these were actually my very first pair of Demonia shoes. They're just freaking crazy. Um, God. I'd wear these shoes to any club night, to any event. I actually wore these to my first Bad's Day event and they were so comfortable. Um, I only started feeling pain in these when I got into the car after being at Disneyland the whole day. But throughout the whole day, they didn't hurt at all. So that makes any sense. I definitely recommend those shoes. And these are my only pair of, I think these are where are you? I'll double check that. If I'm wrong, I will put a little caption. But these are some Why Are You Ballerina heels, chunky heels. Look at that. They are so comfortable to walk in, but I don't really like these little wired parts. It just, it's not comfortable and it leaves a bit of a line on the foot. So I don't, I recommend these for like photo shoots and if you're only going to be walking around for a little bit, but I wouldn't recommend these for like long wear. Let me know if you have a different experience, but yeah. And I got these off of Poshmark, I think, I think, no, I've gotten a few different shoes off of Poshmark. Actually, the last two pairs I have to show you are both from Poshmark, to be honest, but they are still Demonia. So, oh my god, my floor is dirty right here. I'm so sorry. But anyway, oh, I put this little part on here. I'm gonna put these back, actually, because I wanted to just show you how the shoe looks for itself. Um, here is the boot. Just a pair of simple, more simple demonias with a little bit more of a heeled platform. The only thing I don't like about these is that they look kind of big right here. But let me compare them to this pair. Okay. As you can see, it's like, yeah, it's a bit more of like a, a wider fit to it, if it makes any sense. But I don't really like that too much. I kind of wish it was more like this, but I still like the style overall. And these are definitely a good one for most uh, dark alternative styles, honestly. It goes with everything. Uh, but yeah, these ones, I think I got these for like 40 bucks on Poshmark. You get some good deals over there, but gotta recommend them as well. And also, I'm gonna leave that one for now. My most complicated pair of platforms are these ones. Let me pull these ones out onto the bed. I haven't really worn these ones out because Honestly, I just wanted them for a certain outfit, and these were a huge uh, style on the scene. Definitely are huge, popular style on Instagram. I don't really see people wearing these um, so much anymore, but definitely are pretty cool. They kind of, I'm going to be honest, these little, these little plates remind me of, uh, the Naruto head mask or the Naruto headbands, <laughs> but yeah, that's just my thought on that. But yeah, I, I I can't part with these. I haven't worn these in a long time. So I was debating on selling these, but I don't know. I'm just I really think they're cool and they make me really happy that I have these because when I was 13, I really wanted a pair of these. So debating on whether or not to sell these. Okay, so they did end up still having my size in the shoe I showed you guys in the Dolls Kill haul. I did have the size up, and these are 
fitting like a glove. I love it. Two sizes up later, but I'm so happy they still had it. Uh, definitely watch that video if you guys would like to see the other stuff that I got from the haul. But, oh my god, these are like one of my new favorites. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that shoe update. I'm sorry if uh, there's not as many shoes as there were last time. I haven't really liked that many pairs of shoes since the last time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will definitely be uh, doing more updates and I think we are overdue for a for a why can't I say it right a room tour so let me know if you guys want to see that let me know uh, what other things you guys would like to see me do like a showcase for and I will see you guys next time